Hello and welcome to the VBA Jetpack course by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to convert an Excel document, an Excel workbook or Excel worksheets into a PDF document. Here I have three tabs. I have Q1, Q2 and Prod1. Q1 has this table. Q2 has a similar table and Prod1 is a chart sheet which has a chart. Now let's see how to convert this entire workbook into a PDF document. So I would press Alt F11 and here I would right click on any of the objects and go to insert module and here I would enter the code. So let's say the code is the name of the macro is create PDF and I would start with using this workbook and I'm using this because I want to convert this entire workbook into the PDF document. Now, if you want to save it as a PDF document, you may think that we need to use save or save as. And this is because if I go back to the workbook here and I go to file save as, here I get an option to convert it into a PDF document which is in the save as type. If I go here, you can see I have this option to convert it into a PDF. So it's natural to think that this is the same method that we can use in VBA as well. However, that is not the case. To convert it into a PDF document, you need to use a different method which is export as fixed format. And when you hit the space bar, you would see that there are two options, Excel type PDF, which is a PDF document, and then there is Excel type XPS. So I would select PDF here. Now, if I run this code, then it will save the PDF in the same folder where I have the Excel workbook. So if I go back in this folder, I have this file called creating PDF reports. If I do not specify the location or the name, Excel would automatically save the PDF with the same name in the same folder. So if I run this code and I go back to that folder, you can see that I have creating PDF reports PDF file here in the same folder. If I double click on it and open this, you can see that it has three pages. The first one is sheet one, which was Q1. The second one is again a table, which is Q2. And the third one is a chart sheet. So what it has done is it has printed all the three different sheets in three different pages. If you have a blank sheet, then that will not get printed. Now let's get back into the VB editor and let me delete this file from here. And now let's see what we can do if we only want to save one sheet and not the entire PDF. So to do that I would copy this code here, I'll rename it as to sheet. And here instead of this workbook I can use the name of the sheet and to get the name of the sheet you can see here these are the names. We used this workbook, if you want the chart sheet to get printed use chart1 else use these names. So here I would use the name sheet1. Again, I am not specifying the location or the name. So the name would be the same as the name of the workbook and only sheet one would get printed, so, uh, would get saved as PDF. So now if I run this and I go back to the folder, you can see I have creating PDF reports. And if I open this, you can see there is only one single page here. Oops, let me go back and run this code again. And now if I go back here and open this, you can see it has only one page here. So if you only want to print one sheet, then you can specify that sheet. If you want to print the entire workbook, then you can specify this workbook. Similarly, if you want to print chart sheet, only chart sheet, then you can use that. So let me show you how to do that. I would come here and I would say PDF chart. And here I would specify chart one. Let me go back here and delete this report. And now when I come back here and I run this code, I can go back and I can see there is a PDF report. If I open this, it will only have one page, which is the chart here. So this is how you can either print one worksheet, more than one worksheets, the entire workbook or the chart sheets. Now, what if you want to print each and every sheet in a different page. Uh, you can do that, but before that, let's see how to specify the name of this uh, PDF document. So in this case, it was saving with the generic name of this workbook, which is creating PDF reports. What if I want to specify the name? So to do that, 
what we'll do is we'll use the environ function let me show you what it does here I would say environ and here within environ I would type user profile and when I do that it gives me the location of this systems uh, drive which is C user Sumit Bansal and then I can specify the uh, address later which could be a desktop or it could be a folder so what I would do is I would copy this and here I would put a comma and you say you can see it says file name here I can specify the address so I would rather I would use this part here the function so that it will pick up the username from the settings of any system that you're using and now I would specify the name let's say I want to put it on the desktop so I would say desktop and the name can be let's say PDF report dot PDF and I can save this so let's see what happens and when I run this I expect a chart sheet which is chart 1 to get saved on the desktop if I run this and I go back to the desktop you can see it has created a PDF report PDF here which is one sheet it is the chart sheet here so you can specify the name in such a fashion but what if I do not want this name what if I want the name of the chart sheet then you can do that by simply breaking this further and here instead of PDF report I would use the name chart one dot name and then I can say dot PDF now if I run this and let me go back here and delete this report I come here and I run this code and I go back to the PDF to the desktop you can see it says prod1.pdf prod1 is the name of the sheet and it has one worksheet which is the chart sheet similarly you can do the same thing with worksheets as well if you want to print a worksheet so let's do this here quickly I come here and I would say sheet1 dot and let me copy this entire thing because not much would change in this so let me copy this here and I would simply change this to sheet 1 similarly I can do the same thing for sheet 2 as well so let me copy this entire thing and here I would simply change this to sheet 2 the same thing here so what this code would do is it would save three different PDFs for three different sheets that I have two are worksheets and one is a chart sheet let me delete this one here so that you know it's working and now when I run this code and I go back to the desktop you can see that it has created prod1 q1 and q2 if there is any sheet which is empty then it does not get printed now it's okay if you have a couple of sheets but what if you have a lot of sheets here in this case I only have one chart sheet but I have two worksheets so what I can do is I can use a for each statement but to do that I first have to declare it as worksheet then I can come here and I can say for each search in worksheets and then I don't need these two lines of code and let me put next sheet here what I can do is I can simply say sh dot export file format and here I can also use sh now let me go back to the desktop and delete these files come back here again and let's try and run this code so when I run this code and go back you can see that it has these three files prod1 because of this line of code it saves the chart sheet and this would loop through all the sheets and save all the sheets separately as different PDF reports so you can do this simply by using the loop and finally I want to show you how you can simply create a PDF document using a range so let me copy this here and I will say PDF range and again the simple thing here would be to just specify the range here which would be range and in this case let's say I want to do it for the active sheet which is Q1 here and the range is A1 to E8 so I would come here I would say A1 to E8 dot export as fixed format and I'll simply copy this part here and let's call this
range PDF dot PDF and now if I run this code let me go back here and delete these and now if I run this code here you can see it saves range PDF and this is exactly the same as Q1 because it has the same table but if you include more cells here in the range then it can automatically pick up that range and print it as a PDF here I have hard coded the values but if you want you can uh, do it without hard coding it so you can use end Excel down and end Excel to the right as we've seen in many of the videos earlier so that the range becomes dynamic and it gets printed so this is how you can use Excel VBA to save your work to save the entire workbook or individual sheets or even a range as a PDF document. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.